my brother had many that surgery. Why are you gay? What's going on guys in here? Welcome back to another video today. I got something different for y'all, bro. This is completely different compared to the shit that I do, bro. Obviously, I posted a car video before, the car me video. You know, I did pretty good. But, you know, I've always wanted to make car content on my channel, but I never got to, like, doing it and shit. My whole life, I've been into cars and shit like that. And I was like, bro, instead of me worrying about what kind of content I'm making, bro, I'm just gonna push it and start doing it, bro. Congratulations! Congratulations. And honestly, I should go show y'all my car. I, I, y'all really don't even know my car like that, for real. But today, I'm doing one project that everyone does to these kind of cars. Honestly, I should just go outside and show y'all. Y'all didn't know my car. I have an 03 Honda Civic base model 8 LX, bro. You know, I've done a lot to this car. You know, it's lowered wheels, exhaust, you know, bumpers fucking am. cut off and shit like that. Lip. There's a whole bunch of shit, you know what I'm saying? But there's one specific problem these cars have. And it's the brakes, bro. The brakes are pretty shit. I ain't gonna cap. So these cars come with drum brakes. The best thing you can do to upgrade these is to go and get the SI rear disc brakes and then do the whole conversion. First of all, like the entire point of this video is to show people how to do this conversion and shit like that. Cause I, n I don't see any type of videos of people doing this shit. I'm not gonna go step by step. I'm not doing the informative shit cause that's not my type of style, bro. So you gotta go get these parts from an SI or if you're doing a five lug swap, you get it from an RSX. Thankfully, I was able to get like the entire like the trailing arm. I was able to get like a whole trailing arm and shit like that. So I got a pretty good deal on these. I ain't gonna cap. For this swap you gotta you gotta get civic si brake hoses civic si or rsx parking brake cables because you're gonna need longer ones because the ones in this car are too short so yeah and it's too hot bro the florida sun is a bitch bro all right car all jacked up we finna get ready to get sturdy up in this motherfucker, bro all right so first of all you gotta take this the upper control arm off i just have a box with new ones adjustable ones to correct the camber in the back you no know, sway bar coil over um these two bolts up here obviously you take off the brake lines to replace them to the si brake lines and you need a special socket for these i ordered the socket a while ago so i have it somewhere just for this job so since i got like the whole assembly i basically don't have to get an alignment but i'm still going to get one because my car really it doesn't drive straight whatsoever so i need an alignment badly because i eat through tires like a mother we on the gopro right now yes sir this is my first time trying to gopro out really for like a video first of all what i'm gonna try to do i'm actually just gonna bring the tools closer so first of all for the video i'm probably gonna just do one side on video and the other side i'm gonna do myself because i really know how to do is one side and you're pretty much fine one more thing is that you're gonna have to go inside the car and dismantle everything up in here to get to the parking brake cables but i think i'm gonna do that after i really don't feel like doing it right now i just want to do like all the heavy work right now we're gonna get right to it bro Dude, i'm gonna take off the lower control arm bolt so i need a 17 so this is 17 so you just loosen it up you know what i'm saying it's an impact driver it's not as good as just a regular like actual impact take it all the way off so this can go up there um, damn, I just hit the camera. I'm gonna say this is a 14 though. That was correct, it's a 14. Bye, Bye, nothing to it, then they get to it. What the f***, bro? Why you go all the way over there? This bolt, this nut, disconnect the sway bar end link. Oh my God, the camera keeps hitting everything. So I'd say we take this off. Now, I'm gonna say that's a 12. So we just take the brake line bracket off. I was finally, finally able to take out the damn f shit, bro. It's leaking brake fluid everywhere, I don't care. But I was finally able to take off the brake line. We can get straight into this motherfucker. you know what I'm saying, nigga? She, nigga damn excited and shit, cause he got the f brake line on. Cause the nigga used some weird technique and that shit work, nigga. You know what I'm saying, jit? Jit, not re for it, dog. So, breaker bar, extension. You're gonna need this special socket. You see how, like, that shit has, like, 10, 10 teeth, whatever you wanna call that shit. I don't know how to call it. This is for these bolts right here. I sprayed it with WD-40. Hopefully, these motherfuckers come off easily. Oh, bro, butter. Oh my god, it's like someone done this shit before. Ready? Look at that. It's so easy, bro. So bliss, nigga. Yes, sir. Oh, those are loose. I'm pretty sure these ones in here are 17s and shit, too. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen those Johnnies up. You know what I'm saying, Jit? You know what I'm saying? Use my upper body strength. Oh my god. It's so easy now, bro. Sometimes you just gotta spray that shit with some penetrating fluid, bro. That shit just come out easy, nigga. I'm so horny because of that shit, nigga. Huh? All right, realistically, the only thing that's really holding this thing on is the coilovers. I'm probably gonna loosen everything and take off the coilovers last so I can um, put the jack on there. You know what I'm saying? Like smart nigga shit, bro. Yeah. But bro, I, pro I chose the wrong way, wrong day to do this shit, bro. Look, the sun's out. I'm in a beaming sun, bro, in Florida, bro. And this shit's hot as fuck, nigga. Don't stop your bitch ass nigga. Nope. Nice. 
the last of it, nigga. Fuck you, bitch. All right, that's one, two, three. Thank God I have a good jack. One thing, make sure your parking brake's off because I know my parking brake's still on. Oh no, I'm put this shit high as f Damn, dog, I'm weak. All right, there you go. All right, now we put this motherfucker in and we take off the shock. Damn, I can't wait, bro. The brakes on this car is gonna feel amazing, dog. All right, boom. That's, that's good enough. Take your 19 on your impact. That's not on there. I keep hitting my head on shit. Ow, I'm messing up my hair by hitting my head on stuff. Oh no. See, I'm not a certified mechanic, okay? I need 17 with the swivel socket because there's no space to get anything in there. So 17 swivel socket, three inch adapter to, or half inch to three eighths adapter. This is smart nigga shit, bro. Okay, that shit should be out. Um, I'm supposed to disconnect the parking brake cable, but I'm not really sure how to disconnect it. So I'm gonna disconnect it when everything's off. Come on, bruh. Oh, there you go. The last yeah. bolt and then this whole assembly should just come off. Just like that. Obviously the parking brake, not going to come off all the way. Bro, what the heck? I think I'm doing this completely wrong. hours later there you go there you go look look at this this brake is going in there i don't know which side it is i'm confident it's this side right no it's that side no wait this side now i'm confused obviously my car is a lx does not have abs so i do not need the speed sensor i'm gonna try to take it off now there you go. All right, so basically we pick this whole thing up. By the way, this thing's like super heavy. Nothing to play around with. And this is supposed to bolt into there, like that. I'm probably just gonna put the coilover bolt in since that held everything. And then I'm gonna slowly put everything together. And honestly, these race lens coilovers are the worst thing. Do not get race lens, please. If you could get a better set, do not get race lens because honestly, if you're cheap, get them. But oh my God, my sway oh bar my end link is grits, bro. So 200,000 miles is, bro, I ain't gonna count. And this would be way better if I had two people with me. Or another person with me at least i'm gonna put the lower control arm bolts in first actually since they're already lined up all right so i'm just gonna tighten these up a little bit just to get them seated like by the tiniest bit everything's gonna get torqued down by the way too i should have put loctite and everything but i don't have loctite on me i'm like i don't want to cross that anything no i was getting cross threaded not gonna try that i'm just gonna try to put these two bolts on ow oh no fell off the jack okay those bolts are in you're not going anywhere damn oh my god this one does not want to go in straight there you go that one goes in all right that's in. This is the bolt for the upper control arm. I don't know if I'm gonna put the upper control arms in yet because I do have extra ones laying around that I should put in. This does spin. I just gotta free it up with rust. Well, wheel bearings on this one are going out actually. I think you can probably hear it a little bit. Let me just jack it up a little bit. All right. That's in. So I think the next thing we should do is put the brake line in. This should come off. This is a banjo fitting, so. It comes with new washers? I don't know if I should use them. Everything's supposed to get mounted like this, I'm pretty sure, or like that. There you go, boom, boom, like that. But if I could find my banjo bolt, which is right here, I should clean it up. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Clean this motherfucker up. Looks clean enough to me. Get one of these crush washer thingies. Honestly, I think I might just use the stock ones that are there. I don't trust the new ones. They don't, they're a little bit too big, so I'm not gonna use that. Boom, like that, boom, all right, so. Oh no, don't tell me that shit fell into the shit, you bitch. Cool, bro, that shit fell into the jack. No, it didn't, it fell right here. So this is a 14, you're not going anywhere. This is a 12, where's my 14? This goes up in here, like that. 
yes i like to see i like to see progress man boom 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 oh my god everything's going in perfectly obviously you're gonna make this pretty tight so it doesn't leak and obviously you're gonna re-bleed the brakes as i said before boom this has to be connected brake line has to be connected but uh i'm gonna tighten everything up do everything do the rest of everything and i'm gonna come back with y'all when everything's done when everything is ready to drive i'm gonna do the other side and shit like that so i'll see y'all Disappointed, man. It's a continuation of the video the next day. Some bullshit happened and I couldn't drive the car and I couldn't finish it until to right now. I had to finish most of it off camera. Sorry, y'all, but there's a lot of shit I need to tell y'all because this swap is not easy. Let me go outside with y'all. Come check this shit out, dog. Back up on jack stands. You see the wheels on on this side. The wheels off on this side. I kept it off to show y'all the swap. Changed to uh, adjustable upper control arms for the camber and shit like that. Everything's bled. I tested it. I drove it. Drives good. All that shit in there. Honestly, the car drives good. All I have to do is just adjust camber because it was a ton of positive camber in that muff. I fixed that muff. You know, big mechanic Dan, you know what I'm saying? About to put this wheel back on, test drive that muff. Bro, we be chilling. I'm gonna tell y'all one thing. RSX brake line, um, parking brake. There's like a whole bunch of mounting shit you're, you're not gonna need for this car because it doesn't make any sense whatsoever why they put that shit on there. It's a relatively easy swap. If you know if you know how to work on cars, you wouldn't have an issue doing this shit. It's just really unbolting and bolting shit together, bro. Easiest shit in the world, though. Hey, Rob, what you doing with all this fire? 